Hello, happy Saturday for this rest for UK here and welcome to another video. So just like yesterday, we're going to go into basic again and uh, we're going to go into game list again. So the, we had a look at a um, game called Breakout written using this very utility. Uh, but we're going to look at Block Vader this time. So let's have a look at this one. So the uh, Super Cassette Vision by Epoch had a basic interpreter, which is kind of strange for a console because there's no keyboard to type in the commands. So it's a bit, oh, it's just timed out there. So it's a bit um, rudimentary how you actually type the commands in, but we'll get into that in a minute. So let's go for game list and uh, let's go for block fader. We did have a look at breakout, so check out yesterday's video if you want to see that one. This is block fader. Right, okay, so just like breakout, it's going to list the entire listing first. It's kind of cool the way it does that. And you'll see at the bottom loads of colors and loads of numbers. Basically what you have to do on the uh, Epoch gamepad is hold down one of the buttons and then use the up and down to uh, scroll through all the commands. This is how you actually type in a basic uh, program as well. It's, as I said, very rudimentary. It's a bit challenging and it's a bit slow process as well. There's no keyboard. Uh, you thought the Spectrum 48K with its one press uh, print or P for print was bad. This is uh, even slower. But uh, yes, let's uh, try that. So we're onto this screen. You see, you see how I'm scrolling the uh, the ones here. So if I press the button and if I go down on the joystick, we got that. Then we got that. Then we got that. Then we got that. So we need to go back to this one where we've got five run in the center. Can you see that five run? And then we can press five and enter. Okay, so this is the game here. This is quite a powerful basic interpreter. It would seem. Uh, in compared to like something that was on a spectrum for example because we've got sprites it looks like it's got hardware sprites or something uh, let's start the game anyway right okay oh shit okay so this seems to be like a space invaders clown but we're shooting fruit for some reason but yeah this is a sort of example as you can make in this basic interpreter on the uh, epoch game system to be honest this is quite actually quite good it's, it's not exactly slow is it Basics normally slow as far as I can remember and uh, yeah, this isn't too bad. We're shooting through to got space and ride this clone nice and fast Moves quite well This could be a, a nice target for homebrew actually uh, to try and get some homebrew on the system I'm surprised many more people haven't done it But yeah, I'm really impressed with this actually. It's very fast. It's the, there's loads of sprites on screen at the same time all written in basic and yeah i think it, it, it looks apart and it, it plays quite well so yeah that's uh, a very quick video of what we're going to do today i'm going to go and watch strictly halloween special and uh, yep so i'm going to give this one a nice eight out of ten uh, i think it's really good considering it's written purely in basic with them um, command sets that you'd have to use a joystick to uh to sort of use that's a bit challenging for any developer so uh, thank you for watching goodbye